What's up everybody, Justin here to do my Ring of Honor TV review. Just watch Ring of Honor, it's Sunday night. This review will probably be up pretty late on my YouTube before midnight, but whatever. You can watch it any day you want to watch it. So Ring of Honor, I don't know when you watched it. This weekend it was. it's on Fridays in some markets. Saturdays or Sundays. Where I live it's on four times. So I was busy earlier. Could not do this review. Couldn't do it last night. I was busy. So here we go. Right now I'm doing my Ring of Honor TV review for September 4th. I think that's the date. So here we go. Up first, it kicked off with the new Ring of Honor World Champion. Two-time, two-time, two-time Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion, Adam Cole Bebe. Adam Cole, part of the Bullet Club. He's He won the title from Jay Lethal at the last pay-per-view, Death Before Dishonor. So Adam Cole comes out with part of the Bullet Club, Hangman Page, Adam Page, and... The Gorillas, the tag team, Haku Sons. So he gets on the mic. Crowd is pretty hyped up. Adam Cole gets a great reaction from the crowd. Gets on the mic, says, who's ready for story time with Adam Cole, baby? Crowd loved that. They repeated it. And then he talks for a little bit. He says, doesn't matter. I beat everybody here i am once again ring of honor world heavyweight champion and then adam cole says if you're and then he keeps talking for a little bit and then jay lethal's music hits jay lethal comes out is standing on the stage looking at adam cole in the ring lethal looks pretty upset pretty dejected that he lost the world title to adam cole Lethal was the Ring of Honor World Champion 420 days. That is pretty insane. That's a great accomplishment. To be a champion for 420 days in today's wrestling business is a great accomplishment, I think. So Lethal's out there, gets on the mic and talks about how, how upset he is that, that this between Adam Cole... And Jay Lethal, that this is not over. It's not over at all between them. That, that it's not over. And then uh, Adam Cole gets on the mic says, just say it. Just come out and say it. Say you want a title shot because I know that's what you're asking for. That you want your rematch. And then Adam Cole says, if you want a title shot, you, you get in my way. Then, then you're in the Bullet Club's way. If you get in my way, you're in the Bullet Club's way. And Lethal and Adam Cole will go back and forth a little bit more. It's a good start to Ring of Honor. So up next, we, and then before it ended, that segment between Lethal and Cole, Lethal says, I know some people and I got some backup to take on the Bullet Club. Out comes two New Japan Pro Wrestlers to stand side by side with Jay Lethal. NATO and Evil standing side by side with Jay Lethal. So then, the first match of the show, we had Dalton Castle take on the Cabinets. Caprice Coleman, pretty good match. I enjoyed it. The Cabinet was at ringside. Kenny King, Rep Titus, they were at ringside. And of course, the boys were at ringside for Dalton Castle. Kenny King and Titus get thrown out from ringside by the referee. They end up coming back. The boys get in the ring, dive over the top rope, take out King and Titus. That was pretty cool. Pretty good match. Good first match on Ring of Honor. Dalton Castle wins when he hits his finisher. He gets a victory over Caprice Coleman. Up next, we had... Uh, Promo from The Addiction, the current reigning Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, The Addiction, Daniels, and Kazarian. They're on this stage. They climb up a giant ladder, like a 15, 20 foot ladder. 
They climb up it, standing on it with a belt. Daniels is cutting a promo, looking at Nigel McGuinness, basically ripping him, ripping Ring of Honor, saying how the addiction cannot be defeated. Nobody can beat them. They have beat the Young Bucks. They've beaten every team in Ring of Honor, New Japan Pro Wrestling. No teams are left. Nobody's left for the addiction to beat. And they were looking at Nigel McGuinness when they were cutting, when Daniels was cutting his promo, he was looking at Nigel McGuinness like, who else do you got for us to beat and face? Because they beat them all. Not in just Ring of Honor, but New Japan. The addiction has had a hell of a reign. Two veterans in Kazarian and Daniels, they've been in the business well over 15 years. Daniels has been in it really long. I think he debuted in, uh, I think, 99 or 95 or something like that. And, of course, Daniels was in TNA first. And then Kazarian came to TNA in 2003. Both are great veterans. And they've been great Ring of Honor tag champs. And they've been a great team. They teamed up in uh, TNA for a little while before they went back to Ring of Honor. So after the the addiction short promo, we have a promo backstage. It was probably pre-taped with Bobby Fish, the Ring of Honor TV champion. Bobby Fish cuts a promo talking about his challenger, Donovan Dijak. And he has another challenger next week from New Japan Pro Wrestling challenging for the TV title in the main event. I believe that's the main event next week. So after the Bobby Fish promo, we go to a match with the number one contender for the TV title, Donovan Dijak. Guy's a great athlete. Guy's a hell of a talent. And the guy's super nice on Twitter. Follow him on Twitter. Donovan Dijak facing, I don't know the guy's name. He was like a jobber. So Dijak against a jobber basically. And the match starts, the jobber slaps. Donovan Dijak to start the match. That was pretty funny. So that got Dijak pissed off and fired up, picked him up, threw him over the top rope. That was pretty awesome. And then Dijak just basically destroyed him and owned him the rest of the match. Donovan Dijak basically controlled the entire match, destroyed him, beat him within less than five minutes, hit him with his finisher feast. Your eyes. Donovan Dijak wins. After the match, we have Prince Nada, Dijak's manager. Prince Nada, get on the microphone, cut a promo. It says, next week, it's Bobby Fish versus so Sabata. Whatever the guy's name is. Bobby Fish's challenger next week. I believe he, the guy's from New Japan. Pro Wrestling. Prince Nada says, it doesn't matter who is the TV champion. For Donovan Dijak because he's going to become the next TV champion. Before Dijak hit his finisher, feast your eyes, he did the belt symbol that he wants to be a new TV champion. And he should become the next TV champion in my opinion. So up next we had, um, let's see here, the main event. We had the main event after Donovan Dijak won and Prince Nada cut his promo. We had the main event, tag team main event. The Briscoes teaming up to take on the team of Jay White and Leo Rush. Leo Rush, great talent. The guy is so talented and so quick. He's a hell of a talent. Small guy, really little, like maybe shorter than Rey Mysterio. I'm not sure, but... Leo Rush, hell of a talent. So they did the tail of the tape. In the beginning of the match, the Briscoes, it said, has been a team for 16 years. Leo Rush, Jay White have been a team for zero. No years. They, this was our first time ever teaming up. So the Briscoes definitely had the advantage. They are the veterans. They got way more experience teaming up. But Leo Rush... Jay White, they worked pretty well together and put took the Briscoes to the limit, I thought. 
So the Briscoes are the current IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. That's great for them. And at the next pay-per-view on September 30th, Ring of Honor is starting a six-man tag team titles. So at the next pay-per-view, All-Star Extravaganza, the tournament starts for the six-man tag team titles. That starts at the next pay-per-view, All-Star Extravaganza. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, six-man tag titles, what are my thoughts on that? What are my feelings on it? I don't really know. I mean, I like six-man tag matches, but I don't know if a six-man tag title is needed in the United States. Uh, but good for Ring of Honor that they're getting new titles. Good for them that they're doing something different that TNA doesn't do or WWE doesn't do or NXT doesn't do. Or I don't know if indie, indie companies have six-man tag titles. I don't know. But good for Ring of Honor. Hopefully the six-man tag titles is a great success for Ring of Honor. I just, I don't know how I feel about it. I, I'm okay with it right now. I'm okay with it. So, Briscoes and Leo Rush versus Jay White. It was a pretty damn good tag match. Pretty exciting. A lot of near falls. A lot of breakups of three counts. So the match continued. It was pretty awesome. Of course, the Briscoes win. They hit their finisher on Leo Rush. The Doomsday Device. The move that the Road Warriors made famous. You put the other guy up on your shoulders. Your partner goes up to the top. Close lines him off his shoulders. Great, awesome finisher that the Road Warriors did. Well, now the Briscoes do it. Probably paying tribute to the Road Warriors. So, Briscoes win. Good win for them. Leo Rush, Jay White looked pretty damn good in the tag match. They're teaming up, I believe, in the six-man tag title tournament. And that starts at All-Star Extravaganza. The uh, six-man tag team title tournament starts at the next pay-per-view on September 30th. Is the next Ring of Honor pay-per-view, All-Star Extravaganza. Hope you enjoyed my Ring of Honor TV review for September... Whatever it is, September 4th or 5th. I'll put the date down on the title of my video. Hope you enjoyed this. Follow me on Twitter at TNA WWE Guy. Also at NXT WWE Guy. Also, please, if you don't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And like my videos. Watch my past videos and enjoy them. Bye for now.